Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Valerie Dyson and I am going to be doing a tag today. It is called the If I Could Only Keep One Item Per Makeup Category Tag. And I was tagged by Jan Graham. And yes, so I wanted to point out two of the items that I do absolutely love and that's going to be in this tag but also it's in a sneak peek of a future giveaway I will put that video right here um, and I will have it at the end of this video if you're interested in uh, keeping up with me and eventually getting in on the future giveaway the two products that will be in the future giveaway will be the Becca first lot priming filter and that's what that product looks like. I have used it. I put a big dent in it. But this one's mine. And I also have one for you guys. Or one of you guys. And then I also have the Laura Geller Nude Kisses Lip Hunging Lip Gloss. In the be color Beach Bomb. This is mine. But I do have one for one of you lucky winners. In a future giveaway. So that was my primer. The next thing I put on. That I absolutely love. Is the Milani eyeshadow primer. Um, yeah so I do use this. And I'm going to use it completely up. I'm not sure if I'm going to repurchase or not. Because I have done a video. On comparing this. To just the Milani concealer. And using that as a primer. And I didn't see but a very slight difference. So I'll leave that card here too. If you're interested in seeing that comparison video. But um, I do absolutely uh, love this primer. And I would highly recommend it to y'all to try. The next one is very well loved. And as you know you can't really clean suede material. At least I don't know how without ruining it. So but it's the Martin Renaissance Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. This is what mine looks like, but yours would be cleaner. But yeah, um, I haven't cleaned it, so sorry. But yeah, you can tell it's very, very well loved. I have already used a uh, Real Gar Warm Taupe, and I'm hitting pan on, oh, and Tempera. And I am hitting pan on Cypress Umber. So, yeah, that is one that I definitely recommend anybody trying. It's definitely worth the hot and the splurge. The next thing, oh, I should have mentioned these first, but I guess this would be in the same category, but my contacts, you can tell I got green eyes right now. Um, I got the sky one. I did a previous video on that if you're interested in seeing my first impressions of these contacts i'll leave the card here um and yeah so i'm loving these contacts this is my only second day of wearing the second pair the first time um i wore them and actually put on colored contacts was yesterday and i used the sky blue ones this is the second day with the apple green ones but this is the um i think it's siesta concept um contacts and the website is colorcl.com if you're interested in checking them out but yeah I have been loving these contacts and definitely recommend those another thing I have really loved using is this LA girl or no LA colors graphics eyeliner I got this at my local Dollar General. Um, I actually really love this one a little bit more than the Kix one I got from um, the box swap with Dee Dee. Um, I'll leave that card here if you're interested in seeing that box swap. But yeah, um, I like this one a tad bit more for right now just because I need eyeliner that. Um, you know how you put your eyeliner on and then you go in with your eyelashes and sometimes you mess up and you have to like move them around or whatever this eyeliner won't go anywhere the kicks one will so if you want an eyeliner that will not go anywhere this one is it 
I like the Kicks one because you can move it around. Like if you mess up on the eyeliner, you can like, you know, clean it up a lot easier. But this one, no, you can't do that. You, you gotta get it right the first time. Cause once it's on, it's on. <laughs> And the next thing is my lashes. Um, I have these on right now. That's what they look like. And here's what they look like in the little packs. I just get one of them and I cut them in half and put the longer ends on each corner of my eye. And they are, it's one I got from, I think it was Wish. Um, it's a box of it's 80 pairs of lashes, all is 10 different styles, but this is the box it looks, it comes in is W-L-E-E-C Beauty, whatever that means. Um, it's full size false lashes, 80 pairs set. And like I said, they're all different types. Um, here's two of them. So you got your more, uh, natural looking ones like I got on and then you got these very voluminous ones so yeah I like those uh, this is actually I think the second time I've ordered these so yeah they're a really good lash in my opinion but since I have small eyes I do have to cut them in half and use them but that makes them last longer so right, the next thing I like to use is the Tarte Shape Tape um, I got that on right now and I love it. Um, it's really good. It's definitely worth the hype and the price. So if you haven't tried Tarte Shape Tape already, you should. You should. My next favorite I would have to go with is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. Sorry, I don't know where my top went and I couldn't be bothered to clean it before this. But as you can tell, it is a pretty good color for my skin. Maybe a tad off, maybe a little bit more yellow, but that's because I'm really pale right now. But as soon as I get like a week's tan, I'll be fine. Um, but if you haven't tried LA Girl foundation yet, you definitely should. It's definitely, I mean, it's very affordable. Um, it's not that easy to get in my opinion where I live, but if you order it online, I think it's at Ulta, so yeah, it's pretty affordable and it's definitely worth it, like definitely worth it. I would pay twice as much for this same product, it's, it's definitely worth it. Uh, the next one I have the Tarte Confidence um, Powder. That's what the pack looks like. And sorry for blinding you. That's what the inside looks like. I've been loving this. The next thing I have is the butter bronzer. Um, I was repressing this like 30 minutes ago. So this is not what it really looks like normally, but you can tell I really love this product. Definitely see myself rebuying it. Definitely recommend it and definitely would um, repurchase it. Another thing that I have repressing and absolutely love, definitely would want to keep is this cargo blush. It is called the Big Easy and the color is, it appears a little bit darker right now because it still is wet from repressing it. But yeah, it's, it's on my cheeks so it's very subtle but you can layer it up to make it more pigmented. It's just a beautiful color for all year long too. And the next thing would have to be my ColourPop um, Super Shock Cheek in Flexitarian. That is what it looks like. And there it is on my cheeks. Very beautiful. As you can tell, I hit pan and absolutely love it. And for lips, I, as you can tell, I really love this. It's the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the color Wild Nothing. As you can tell, it's got a lot shorter. I have that on. Um, it is the same color as the lip gloss I mentioned earlier uh, from Laura Geller on Beach Bomb. They match perfectly, especially on the lips. Like, you can't tell. I got both of them on. They're a great combo great combo 
Um, if you hadn't tried Wild Nothing from ColourPop and Lip, if you hadn't tried lip pencils from ColourPop, you should. They're not as hard uh, to sharpen as some of them. Like you know how you sharpened a, a cheaper kind of lip or even eyeliner, and they break off really easy. This one is not as bad as what I have had. Like it will if you sharpen it down too much, but it's it's a good one compared to what I have tried. And far as it it lasts pretty well too on the lips. So I showed you my lip gloss already. That will be in a future or it's in a sneak peek of a future giveaway. And a few products that is not in this video that I definitely would recommend you trying if you hadn't already. Um, I don't have them with me so I can't show you the items but I will put a picture right here of the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara that was my favorite mascara and I still haven't found any other mascara that has replaced it. It's definitely worth the money. That and setting spray. I I have done a um, video of comparing the Skiven De Nevia one with I believe it was the Milani setting spray but now that I have been using the Milani one more um, I just don't like how it dispenses the spray as much as the Scandinavia one. So, um, I definitely recommend trying the Scandinavia one. Um, I like it more than the Milani one now. So, my opinion changed since that video. But, if you don't want to go and get the Scandinavia one, um, I would recommend the Wet n Wild one. I just don't like how much they put in a bottle like I go through the wet and wild ones in like I want to say a month or less <laughs> like I love it but I don't like how they put in small packages and package I would like more like a bigger bottle of the wet and wild setting spray all right that is it on this tag um it was again if you didn't hear me earlier if I could only keep one item per makeup category tag and I had really fun doing this thank you Jan Graham for tagging me I really enjoyed doing this tag I love when people tag me uh, for a change instead of me having to tag them but yeah so I'm gonna tag two people and I'll be right back because I did not think about that until just now all right I got four people I want to tag on this tag and it is Dylan Marie. Um, she is freaking awesome. If you want to learn how to create eyeshadow looks with the beautifulest colors ever, go check her out. Um, I haven't really seen her do any tag videos that I can think of right now, but I hope she is interested in doing this tag. The next person is DD5. Um, like I said earlier, I did a box swap video with her pretty recently. So if you're interested in checking that out, please do. Um, but DD5, she's done, I think, maybe one or two tags before on her channel. Um, but I'm pretty sure she will do this. And then Truly Tara, um, she's not been in the best health here lately. But I hope when she gets to feeling better that she... Um, she can do this video because it's not that hard to film uh, this type of video so hopefully she can get around to doing this and I hope you feel better Tara by the time you see this video um, and I hope you join in on the fun the last person is Rhonda Lynn um, the Hawaiian youtuber our favorite lipstick queen so if you're interested in like lipsticks and a bunch of lipstick reviews and Saturday chat sessions, then definitely check out her channel. And I'm pretty sure she would do this tag if she could get uh, time to do it because she is a very busy woman. But yeah, that is who I tag. But if I didn't tag you and you want to do this tag, please do and please let me know in the comments uh, below that you want to do this tag and that you are doing this tag um, if you do this tag or have done this tag please leave the links down below in the comment section yeah that's basically it I hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you buddies next time bye